Most of us consider greed to be some flashy Wall Street tycoon living an extravagant lifestyle. But that's just one part of the story. Greed is more than just an intense and selfish desire for wealth, power, or food. It's something that can sneak into our lives without us even realizing it. We often think greed is only about money and is reserved for those Wall Street types. But unfortunately, many of us haven't realized it, but greed is everyone's biggest problem. You see, the desire for more money isn't necessarily bad, but when it becomes excessive, it leads to unhealthy habits. It makes you lose sight of what's truly important. Think about Ponzi schemes. Have you ever fallen for one or wondered why people still do it despite knowing the risks? It's often because their desire for more money is driven by greed. When greed drives your financial decisions, it can cause more harm than good. You might find yourself stuck in an endless cycle where no amount of money feels like enough. Greed just leads to more greed and it never stops. So in this video, we're going to explore how you can correct your relationship with money. How can you break out of this cycle of greed and start building a life that puts you on the path to financial freedom? But before we move forward, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out on the valuable insights we share in our future videos. All right, the step in our journey to murder your greed and achieve true contentment is to focus on having the right mindset. Ask yourself, do you believe greed is wrong and has adverse consequences? This might sound simple, but it's a fundamental step. If you don't genuinely believe that greed can lead to negative outcomes, it's going to be tough to change your behavior. Greed can push you to make decisions that might seem good in the short term, but can hurt you in the long run. It can make you prioritize money over relationships, health, and happiness. Understanding and accepting this is the first step in changing your mindset. Having the right mindset means knowing that there are lengths you shouldn't go for money. It means setting boundaries for yourself and recognizing when your desire for more is becoming unhealthy. For example, are you willing to sacrifice your time with family and friends just to make a little extra cash? Are you chasing promotions and raises at the expense of your mental health? If you find yourself saying yes to these questions, it might be time to reevaluate your priorities. Changing your mindset isn't something that happens overnight. It's a process that involves self-reflection and honesty. Start by being aware of your thoughts and feelings about money. When you find yourself obsessing over getting more, take a step back and ask yourself, why? What are you hoping to achieve? Is it security, happiness, or status? Once you understand your motivations, you can start to shift your focus towards healthier goals. Having the right mindset is the foundation for breaking free from greed. It's about believing that there are more important things in life than money, and that true contentment comes from appreciating what you have. By changing the way you think about money, you can start to make decisions that lead to a healthier, happier, and more fulfilling life. All right, the next thing you need to do to murder your greed and achieve true contentment is to evaluate yourself. Self-evaluation is a crucial step. It's about sitting down and asking yourself some tough questions. Why do you do the things you do? Why are you interested in making money? What is your goal for making money? These questions can reveal a lot about your true motivations and desires. Take some time to really think about these questions. Why are you driven to make more money? Is it for security, to provide for your family, or maybe for a sense of accomplishment? Understanding your true reasons can help you determine whether your desire for money is healthy or if it's fueled by greed. Next, ask yourself how much you think will be enough for you. This is a tricky one because it's easy to fall into the trap of always wanting more. But having a clear idea of what enough looks like can help you set realistic goals and avoid the endless pursuit of more. Maybe enough for you is having a comfortable home, a reliable car, or enough savings to feel secure. Whatever it is, defining it helps you focus on what truly matters. Now, think about how far you're willing to go to make money. Are there limits you can't cross in your pursuit of wealth? For instance, are you willing to sacrifice your health, time with family, or personal values? Recognizing these boundaries is important because it helps you stay true to yourself and maintain a healthy balance. Another important question is what you would do anything for. Identifying that one thing that you value above all else can give you clarity about your priorities. Maybe it's your family, your health, or your happiness. Whatever it is, 
Knowing this can help you make better decisions about how you spend your time and energy. Answering these questions honestly will give you a better understanding of what motivates you and your overall disposition toward money. Moving forward, here's the next thing you need to do too is to have a plan. Having a plan means knowing what you want your life to be about and what steps you need to take to make that happen. It's not just about chasing money for the sake of it. It's about having a clear purpose and direction. So ask yourself, why are you looking for money? Is it just to gain financial freedom? Or do you want to build generational wealth? Understanding your true motivations will help you create a meaningful and effective plan. A good plan starts with defining your short-term and long-term goals. Short-term goals could be things like paying off debt, saving for a vacation, or building an emergency fund. Long-term goals might include buying a house, saving for your children's education, or planning for retirement. By breaking down your goals into manageable steps, you can track your progress and stay motivated. Next, consider how you intend to use the money from your income to achieve these goals. It's not just about earning money, it's about managing it wisely. Create a budget that aligns with your goals. Allocate a portion of your income to savings, investments, and necessary expenses. Make sure your spending habits reflect your priorities and help you move closer to your goals. Remember, your plan should be flexible. Life changes, and so do your goals and circumstances. Review your plan regularly and make adjustments as needed. This ensures that your plan remains relevant and effective, helping you stay on track to achieve your goals. The next thing you need to do to murder your greed and achieve true contentment is have multiple sources of income. What better way to overcome greed than by having your own money? It might sound straightforward, but it's a powerful way to ensure financial stability and contentment. So how does this work? First, start by having a primary source of income. This could be your job, a business, or any regular activity that brings in money. The key is to develop valuable skills that you can exchange for money. Whether it's through education, training, or hands-on experience, building skills that are in demand can help you secure a reliable income. Once you've established one source of income, the next step is to look for other ways you can make money. This could be through side hustles, investments, or passive income opportunities. The idea is to diversify your income streams so that you're not reliant on just one source. This not only provides financial security, but also reduces the anxiety and stress associated with depending on a single paycheck. For instance, you might have a full-time job and decide to start a freelance gig on the side. Maybe you have some savings that you can invest in stocks, real estate, or a small business. The more sources of income you have, the more stable your financial situation becomes. It also gives you the flexibility to meet your needs without putting yourself or others in harm's way. Diversifying your income also allows you to explore your passions and interests. You can turn hobbies or interests into additional income streams, making your work more enjoyable and fulfilling. Whether it's writing, crafting, teaching, or any other passion, finding ways to monetize your interests can add both financial and personal satisfaction to your life. Finally, the last thing you need to do to murder your greed is to set money goals. This step is all about giving your financial journey a clear direction. Start by asking yourself some important questions. How much do I earn and what do I want to do with it? How much will I spend daily or weekly? I want to buy land in five years. How do I achieve that? Having clear goals helps you make more intentional decisions with your money. Instead of just spending as you go, you have a roadmap to follow. For instance, if you want to buy land in five years, you need to figure out how much you need to save each month to reach that goal. This kind of planning makes your dreams more achievable and gives you a sense of purpose with your finances. Creating a budget is a crucial part of setting money goals. A budget helps you keep track of your income and expenses, ensuring that you're living within your means and saving for the future. It doesn't have to be complicated. Start by listing your monthly income and then categorize your expenses. Things like rent, groceries, utilities, entertainment, and savings. This way, you can see where your money is going and make adjustments as needed. Once you have a budget in place, you can start setting specific goals. Maybe you want to save a certain amount each month, pay off debt, or set aside money for a vacation. Whatever your goals are, write them down and make them as specific as possible. Instead of just saying, I want to save more money, say, I want to save $200 a month. 
This specificity makes your goals more tangible and easier to track. All right, those are the essential steps to murder your greed and achieve true contentment. By following these steps, you can break free from the endless cycle of greed and build a life of financial freedom and happiness. Remember, it's not just about making more money. It's about using your money in ways that bring you lasting satisfaction and security. When you focus on what truly matters and manage your finances responsibly, you can achieve the contentment you've been looking for. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips and advice on achieving financial freedom and living a fulfilling life. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks again and take care.